How do you know your fifth grader understands what they read? By now you've done it a million times. Ask a question about the reading and most fifth graders can answer it. But they should also be able to point to evidence, a sentence or a picture to show you how they know the answer. Some volcanic eruptions happen suddenly and explosively. Others happen over a long period of time. This is true of America, America's longest act, active volcan, volcanic eruption. I want to know whether this mountain, Kilauea, is a sudden explosion or an eruption over a long period of time. I think it's an eruption that happens over a long period of time because it says this is true of America's longest active volcanic. But by the end of fifth grade, they should be able to answer the not so obvious questions and point to the sentence or sentences that show how they know the answer. Here, Jackson has to infer the answer from what he reads. It had been four o'clock by the time he'd gotten back into his room and he was still tired. He got back to his room at four o'clock. Morning or night? Morning. How do you know? It had been four o'clock, four o'clock by the time he'd been gotten back to his room, and he was still tired. His night expedition hadn't been quite the success he'd hoped. So how do you know if your child understands what they're reading? Well, come summer, fifth graders should be able to show understanding by answering more complex questions about a book and by pointing to evidence of the answer.